Here at K&J Magnetics, we prepare a lot of magnets for shipping. We wrap them carefully to protect the magnets from damage. Packing material keeps the magnets away from the sides of the box, so it won't stick to the side of the mail truck. For packages that ship via air, there are specific rules that must be followed. They set limits on how strong the magnetic field emanating from the box can be. Above the first limit, you're just not allowed to ship it. Above the second lower limit, special labeling is required. We usually aim to fall below both limits, so your package can ship as a normal, everyday shipment. The recommended way to check a shipment is to measure it with an air shipment milligauss meter. This special instrument is super sensitive, able to detect magnetic field changes of a tenth of a milligauss. Here we're showing one of these meters in action. Can we stay below the five and a quarter milligauss limit from seven feet away? Oh yeah, you're at 10, 11. This demo with strong cylinder magnets Nine. demonstrates how the positions of the magnets can influence the result. Negative. Stacked on top of one another, Ten. the field strength is twice the allowed number. Set them side by side with poles facing in opposite directions, and suddenly we're well below the limit, barely registering. One, 1.5, you're good. Good for an air shipment. Ship it. But what if you don't have a fancy meter? Can we check it another way? We think so. That limit is five milligauss because that's how much it takes to move a compass needle by two degrees. We can just check it with a nice compass. Unfortunately, we don't have a nice compass. It's hard to see two degrees on the little one we have. So we worked with what we have and zoomed way in on it with a camera. More than two degrees. This way. Rotate it back this way. Yeah, like half of the needle is going into the open area yeah. or outside the yeah, and lines. That's, that's what we expected. It's two stack magnets. It's, it's well over. Right. If I do together. Together. Then it's not so much. Yep, not moving. Way too much. Those two methods of measuring shipments, the milligauss meter and the compass, are both quite capable. They work great. But we wanted to toy with a third method. Can we make an electronic device to check shipments using inexpensive hardware? We used an Arduino microcontroller to control the device and an inexpensive magnetic sensor from Adafruit. We also included a display to show some output. Wiring them together, we supply power and ground from the Arduino to the sensor and the display. Two wires to the sensor enable serial communication and two wires to the display do the same. We also added a buzzer. So power on. The little sensor does require calibration, so the first step after power up is to rotate the device around 360 degrees.
Then, with the sensor indicating a heading of about north, a button press zeroes the device. Now it's all set to detect changes of the magnetic field direction, just like a regular compass. If it detects greater than a two degree heading change, it beeps. Like we saw with the meter and the compass, the orientation of the magnets really does matter. Two stacked magnets break the rule, but side by side is quite safe. Thanks for watching. See more technical details about this project in the blog article on our website. KJMagnetics.com. This magnet fails.